it's also created more deficiencies of nutrients because now that stomach acid that we need to ionize our minerals, it's too high. And then now zinc, iron, calcium, magnesium, now we're not going to absorb those. And then maybe we're not able to break down our protein. So now our tryptophan is not being broken down into serotonin and melatonin. Our phenylalanine and tyrosine is not being broken down to dopamine. So now it starts to affect our mood, our focus, our cognitive function, our sleep, our relaxation. We're not breaking down our amino acids to make GABA. So, I mean, it's overwhelming, right? Because there's a lot of things that start to happen and we start to have these spirals in different directions and it makes it harder and longer to recover. And you can see that just throwing an acid blocker, just throwing sucralfate, just throwing an anti-inflammatory does not fix the underlying issue. And so we're not anti-medication, we're pro-root cause. If you use medication, that's fine. Talk to your doctor about what's the root cause, how are we gonna get to the root cause so we're not gonna have to be stuck on the medication forever. Ask that question so you can get better answers. And then if you're not happy with the answer, that's fine. Use the medication acutely and then find a functional medicine provider that you can work with while you work with your conventional doctor to taper off these things. Yeah, well said. And it's a beautiful illustration there mentally for people. Hopefully you can rewind that, listen to it again. But this idea that, okay, yeah, we're talking upper GI today. We're talking digestion. We're talking burping, bloating, that sort of thing. But then this does spiral into anxiety, depression chronic fatigue, insomnia, hormone imbalances, nutrient deficiencies, skin problems, hair loss, hair thinning, right? Because all this stuff is dysfunctioning. So conventional medicine is going to just zoom in. Here's the steroid. Here's the balloon. We're going to blow up your esophagus so you can eat and not choke. But uh, sorry for the anxiety. Go to the psychiatrist. Okay. Here's your benzo. Okay. Sleep doctor. Here's your Ambien. Okay. I mean, it's just crazy how quickly it spirals out of control. So we say this not to, like you said, it can be overwhelming, but with just a couple of labs, you can really investigate a lot of this stuff and see what's actually wrong.